good morning everyone my name is sheik ismail ali basha department of botany uh, previously i told that the origin of life in first chapter i am going to the fourth chapter algae right the first one algae algae exist in environment ranging from oceans rivers and lakes to ponds the fraction waters and even snow algae are usually green but they can be found in a variety of different colors for instance the algae living in snow contain the carotenoids pigments in addition to chlorophyll hence giving the surrounding snow a distinctive red hue the general characteristics of algae algae are photosynthetic organisms algae can be either unicellular or multicellular organisms algae lack a well defined body so structure like say roots stems or leaves are absent algae are found where there is a adequate moisture reproduction in algae occurs in both asexual and sexual forms a sexual reproduction occurs by spore formation algae are free living although some can form a symbiotic relationship with other organisms right with the types of algae algae are primarily classified into following the into three types blue green algae red algae green algae the fritz classification of algae according to dr f e fritz 1935 1944 he was to classify to 11 group of classes right first one is chlorophyce xanthophyce chrysophyce basilophyce and cryptophyce and dinophyce and the next one is chloromono chloromonodesi euglenophyce phyophyce rhodophyce mexophyce it is the fifth classification of algae the thallus organization of algae the thallus organization are found in the algae and fungi the thallus is a undifferentiated flat tissue it ranging from simple filaments to complicated and unbranched tree like filaments it is a simple structure that lacks specialized tissue such as a connecting tissue stems and leaves they lack organized and distinguishable sections the style the thallus mimics vascular parts of the plant in algae the thallus is called a mycelium the range of thallus structure in algae is two types unicellular and multicellular the unicellular is a differentiation to two types the motile and non motile the motile example chlamydomonas and non motile is chlorella the multicellular algae is differentiated to eight types it is non motile colony and motile colony anthophorous colony dendroid colony heterotrichous siphonous pseudo uh, pseudophorichymatous and parenchymatous and filamentous the filamentous is divided into two types three types unbranched simple branched pseudo branched it is the thallus organization of algae the range of thallus structure in algae the base on the right the life cycle of algae the life cycle of algae the algae is a sporophyte generation but they have the produce the spores the spores to form the female gametophytes and male gametophytes the two gametophytes is after fertilization to form the zygote the zygote is germinating the after sporophytes they produce the number of algae right it is the life cycle of the algae next one is spirogyra spirogyra are a free floating green algae present in fresh water habitats such as a ponds lakes etc spirogyra are commonly known as water silk or pond silk they have a filamentous and unbranched vegetative structure there are around 400 species of spirogyra found the genus spirogyra is named after the unequal spiral chloroplast present in the cells of algae spirogyra are photosynthetic and contribute substantially the, to the total carbon dioxide fixation carried out they increase the level of oxygen in their habitat many aquatic organism feed on them the structure of spirogyra the vegetative structure of spirogyra is unbranched filamentous thallus the thallus is multicellular with each cylindrical cell joined end to end they are 10 to 100 micrometers in width and many go several centimeters in length they are present as a slimy mass due to the presence of mucilage sheath around the filament the cell wall is made up of two layers inner cellulose and outer is a pectos the slimy mucilage sheath is due to the dissolution of the pectos in water in each cell there is a nucleus cytoplasm a large central vacuole and spiral chloroplast the chloroplast are ribbon shaped and arranged spirally there may be 1 to 16 chloroplast present in this cell right 
the reproduction of spirogyra the spirogyra undergo the vegetative asexual and sexual reproduction the life cycle of spirogyra is a haploidic the dominant stage is a free living haploid gametophyte and the sporophyte reproduce the only by the diploid zygote it is the diagram of the life cycle of spirogyra they form the papilla after the conjugation canal they form the pores they pores the also the divide the spores right the polysiphonia next one is the genus polysiphonia is represented by more than 150 species the polysiphonia word is derived from the greek word poly means many siphonia means tube right it is the out of which about 16 species are reported in india they grow in marine habitat and are a cosmopolitan distribution the structure of polysiphonia plant polyi is multi axial well branched thallus of dark brown reddish or bluish red coloration appearing as a very small bush the height of the bush varies from the few to several centimeters most of these species are hetero heterotrichous in habit consisting of the prostrate and erect stems the prostrate stem it may be multi axial and well developed from the lower side of the prostrate system many unicellular rhizoids are developed erect system the erect filament is developed from the prostrate system the erect system consists of main axis and many branched right the cell structure of polysiphonia the cell have the thick wall differentiation into outer pectic and inner cellulosic layers the cells are uni uninucleate with many discoid chromatophores without the pyrenoids neighboring cells are connected by the pit connection the cells contain large central vacuole preserve food in flo floridian starch the important features of polysiphonia the plant body is polysiphonous Apical growth takes place by single dome shaped apical cell. Sexual reproduction is of a advanced oogomous type. Post fertilization stage is much elaborate. The the cytocarp is well developed. Right reproduction in polysiphonia. The polysiphonia reproduction both asexual and sexually. The sexual the sexual reproduction is of oogomous type. In this life cycle of polysiphonia, three kinds of plants are recognized: diploid tetrasporophyte, haploid gametophyte, and diploid carposporophyte. The asexual reproduction takes place by haploid non-motile tetraspores. The sexual reproduction, male reproductive organ, it is called as a spermatozoon or antheridium. Female reproductive organ, the female reproductive organ is called carpogonium. the life cycle of polysiphonia it is told that the already three types stages tetrasporophytic gametophytic and carp and uh, carposporophytic right the polysiphonia plant is tetrasporangium first after the meiosis they produce the tetraspores the tetraspores of male divide to male gametophyte and female gametophyte this is the female gametophyte produce the carpogonium and male gametophyte the spermatangia are uh, the carpogonium to divide to the uh, to, to produce the egg and spermatangia is to produce to the sperms the both are the fertilization of the form this zygote zygote there they further germination they produce the carposporophyte and carposporangia and carpospores after they produce the or go to the polysiphonia plant right and economic importance of algae algae constitute the link of a food chain algae is useful in fish culture algae is used for the recreational purpose algae is a useful in sewage treatment plants algae and water supplies algae has the origin of petroleum and gases algae and limestone formation algae is used in space research and other fundamental studies algae is used as a food do food dyer fertilization medicines and industrial utilization of algae it is the algae and spirogyra and polysiphonia right okay thank you